The principal of the Gordon and Walcott Memorial Methodist School has hailed the start of work on a new wing for her institution as another complement to the school's rich legacy of excellence. Chris Satney has more in this report. The construction of the new block will see the demolition of the old infant wing of the school to provide more security, adequate operating space, and enhancement of the teaching and learning experience at the institution. It's been a 10-year wait for the Gordon and Walcott Memorial Methodist School, which has undergone several name changes over the years since the first Methodist school was established in St. Lucia over 131 years ago. In 1951, the primary school was moved to the current location and named after the first head teacher, the late Thomas Gordon. Principal of the school, Margaret Gabriel, touched by this recent endeavor, was encouraged to take a trip down memory lane. In 1962, the Methodist Infant School building was constructed on the compound next to the primary school, right behind us across there. It was named the Alex Walcott Methodist School. The works will consist of a two-level reinforced concrete structure. The first floor will contain four classrooms, staff room and washroom facilities, while the ground floor will consist of one classroom, music room, theater arts and French rooms, and a sick bay. It's a plan which satisfies the Gordon and Walcott School's principal. We look forward to the completion of this beautiful new block which will transform our school compound and modernize our facilities to help us offer quality education in a more conducive physical environment. Research has shown that enhanced physical spaces can boost motivation and morale among students as well as staff. Minister with Responsibility for Education, Honorable Dr. Gail Brigabert, who helped turn the sword for the start of the construction, is certain this and two other schools being built under the Education Quality Improvement Project equipped at a total cost of 20 million EC dollars will ensure the sustainability of modern education at these institutions for generations to come. So the social fabric of our society is what concerns us. The things that hurt our people is what motivates us to fix things, to address issues, and to ensure that we put systems in place that will outlive us. Because it is not an egotistical endeavor that my minister, ministerial colleague or I, or I will boast that I have done this. It's not about us. It is about the people and ensuring that we give to them what they earnestly desire, deserve, and want for themselves and for their families. The site works will include improvements in the perimeter fencing and vehicular parking conditions. It will also include improved site drainage and improved site access on the northern boundary, as well as refurbishment of the existing septic tank. MP for Castries Central, Honorable Sarah Flood Bobra, says the school is well-placed to build on its rich history to make even greater accomplishments in the future. So I want to thank you for all that you've done. I mean, your school uh, looks so clean, the environment so welcoming, your students so well-behaved. You will excel even more in a, an environment that's suited more to these times to help you perfect your work even more. So I want to say how very pleased and grateful I am today as, a, as your Member of Parliament to thank again the Minister of Education and her entire team for prioritizing this project. The construction of the new block at the Gordon and Walcott Memorial Methodist will be undertaken through a 10-month period by Prudy's Construction Limited at a cost of just over $5 million EC dollars. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development, I am Chris Satney reporting.